Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome to this tutorial where I teach you how to use the gamepad and add it to an existing game. So in this case, I have my action platformer game from my action platformer course and I just want to show you how we can update this to use some gamepad control. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that you have your gamepad plugged into your computer, that one's obvious. The next thing is we have to add the gamepad object to our project. So how are we going to do that? Just double click and type in game object or scroll down and it'll be right around here since I already have added it, it's not there. But it's already in my project right here. So in Construct 2, it'll look something like that. It'll say gamepad. Okay, cool. The next thing is we have to go to our player where we actually are doing our control. So the first thing I'm going to add is our shooting control. So I'm going to go right where I have my control. I'm going to hit C, I'm going to go to the gamepad, and this is going to be is button down, and this is gamepad zero, and the button that is going to be down for shooting is going to be two, two buttons here, maybe three. It's going to be the right shoulder trigger, and let's hit OK, and then, yeah, that's fine. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to hit C again, and we're going to go to our gamepad, and we're going to say on button pressed, and this is going to be our right shoulder trigger as well. So now what this is saying is if X is pressed, then do your shooting code. If X is down, like you're holding down the key, then do the shooting code. Or if the gamepad right shoulder trigger is holding, is being held down, then do the shooting code. Or if it's just being pressed, do the shooting code. So we have all of that. Let's hit save and let's run this. And let's see if this works. So I have my gamepad. And when I hold down the right shoulder trigger like that, there we go. Awesome. So I have my shooting, and it's a good thing I don't have sound because it would have been too loud. But the next thing is our actual player movement. So how are we going to do that? So let's go to where I have my player movement. And you can see here that I had a very basic system for our player mirrored. What we're going to do here is we're just going to hit B on the group. So we add a sub event to the group. And we're going to say gamepad, compare axis, left analog X axis. So this is the left analog where your left thumb would usually go. And if this is less than zero, then we're going to move it to the left. And to move our player to the left, we're going to go to player, simulate control to the left. And we're going to copy and paste this. And we're going to double click this. And instead of it being less than, it's going to be greater than. And instead of it going to the left, it's going to go to the right. Okay. So now we're kind of getting somewhere. The other thing we want to do here is look at the way my player is facing. So my player is facing the right. So if it's going to the left, then our player is going to be mirrored. Oh, I just smacked the controller. Our player is going to be mirrored. And I'm going to control, click, and let go, and switch this one to not mirrored. That's a fast way to copy things in Construct 2. And that should be good. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, I am forgetting player jumping. So let's look at where our jump control is. And let's just make a new sub-event for that. So hit B on the group, double click. If the gamepad button is down, button A is fine, then what are we going to do? We're going to go to our player, we're going to simulate the control of jump. Alright, so let's hit save, let me turn the volume all the way down here so you can't hear it at all, or maybe I'll just put it to like 2 so you can hear me talking over it. And here we go, so now if I click on over here, and if I hit jump real fast, there we go. Moving left and right, we're mirroring perfectly, and my walk cycle, for those who don't know, is only three frames, so it's going to look a little bit funny. And it looks like we're out of bullets, even though it doesn't say we are, so I have to fix that bug. But there you go. Our gamepad support is basic, but it is in there. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you want to see something more like this. I am planning on making a free course for gamepad support for this and a few other programs. So leave a like and subscribe to my channel for a lot of more free stuff that's coming. There's going to be more tutorials. There's going to be a lot of free content of my own animations and games. So stick around and thanks for watching.